Saturday morning as usual out in the workshop. Got another one for you today. This is one I've had before, but it's been quite a while since I've had it. Uh, this is the original release back in 2011 when it first came out. Jackknife plug, GLPs. This is from 2011. That's the year it was released. And as you can see, well, it's going to be hard to tell out here, but it is bulging pretty good. And uh, we all remember what happened last time when uh, I opened the tin that was bulging like that. It's red ripe Virginias and dark fired Kentucky. see that bulging or not I don't think you're gonna be able to but let's get into this hate them hate them Instantly, I pick up that Virginia citrus. Plug looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm looking like, I want to make sure there wasn't no mold on that. Still very wet. We're gonna let this dry a while. Actually, looks like it. Uh, I think it's just uh, the sugars. We're gonna let this sit a while, and we'll get back to it. All right, we're back. I've been smoking this now for about 20 minutes after letting it sit and dry out a little bit. Still very, very wet. They want to call this a cake or a plug. It's more of a cake, I guess, but uh, it's just whole leaf tobacco, just pressed. In my opinion, it's a lot harder to mix that way. The Burleys with the Red Virginias, there was a lot of stems in this. I mean, just whole leaves. I mean, they say in the description, look at it. To uh, slice it, rub it out, ribbon cut, shag cut, cut it into cubes. Well, if you can make that into ribbon cut, you almost need to put it in a damn blender or something. <laughs> but the taste is there. It's definitely nice. Uh, the Dark Fire Kentucky is definitely the front runner. But you pick up the Virginias in the background. Uh, it's a nice blend. Uh, it tingles and burns a little bit on the retro hail. But all in all, a nice smoke. It's just... Uh, you have to really work to uh, get a pipe going, <laughs> to prepare it anyway. Speaking of that, this is one I made last weekend. Uh, I made this to uh, imitate one of my Dunhills. It's a small pipe, like a Group 3. And uh, the blast on this thing took me forever. You can see them growth rings. Look at them. It's hard to see out here, but... Uh, it was really, I was happy the way it came out. Like I said, it just, it took forever. But another nice shop pipe. 
And speaking of pipes, uh, that video I made last week of them pipes that I, I'm going to bring back from up in Buffalo, New York. I got a huge response from already. I got people already wanting them and I don't even have them done yet. So stay tuned for that. That's what I'm going to be working on this weekend. Like I said, the Kentucky in this is definitely the front runner, but the Virginias are nice in the background. This is definitely something more on the bold, robust blend. Something you probably wouldn't want to smoke all day. But it goes good with my strong black coffee. Like I said, it's just a lot of work to prepare it. Like I said that tin was the original tin from 2011. And it was still really wet. <clears throat> and it's just really, really hard to prepare. Look at it. But you get the boldness, you get some sweetness, lots of earthiness. Definitely now that I opened the tin, I'm definitely going to let it sit for quite a while. And I think with more air to it, it's going to uh, age nicely. Dry out a little bit more. It's definitely aged now. That's about all I got going on. As always, if you have had this before, let me know. Leave your comments below. And uh, I stated on here before years ago that... Uh, my mom had found me on here years ago, and so had other family members, and that was embarrassing enough. And then my friends found me on here, a lot of my friends, who don't smoke pipes. And even my neighbors found me on here. When just recently, I found out the other day at work that uh, my coworkers had found me on here. <laughs> So the secret's definitely out. It's, it is a little embarrassing and you, you laugh about it, but uh, if you was that concerned about it, you wouldn't make them to begin with or uh, you'd make them private. So I, I know they're watching probably this morning. But I'm going to get some stuff done out here today. Nice and cool here today. Hope everybody has a good weekend. And I'll talk to you boys and girls later. Bye -bye.